Hello, hello everyone. Welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well today. Also, I hope I'm coming through all right. Explain a bit. But yeah, hopefully everyone had a great weekend. Hey, Zenio. Smallpone downloaded more RAM. Sort of. Technically, in a way. <laughs> thank you for the pets. Also, and thank you for the follow earlier there in the start. Uh, yeah, hopefully everyone had a good weekend. I, what did I do this weekend? I started, I did a little bit of work on some graphics for the stream. Uh, that's one thing I did. Played some, played some seamless co-op Elden Ring. I don't normally play Elden Ring, but playing it co-op, quite interesting, quite fun. Did that a lot yesterday. Um, also... To, to explain why I hope I'm coming in okay is I put together the system. We're now streaming uh, via using using two PCs. <laughs> We've managed to rig up my, my old PC to hopefully function as a stream PC. And the method I'm using is completely untested. For me, anyway. Um, a lot of people seem to swear by this method. But um, hopefully it means I'm coming in loud and clear, which means this is kind of a test week. We're going we're gonna to test this method for streaming. Um, so I'm kind of going to rely on you guys to tell me if anything seems off, if anything sounds off, if it looks off. Hopefully you don't notice any difference whatsoever. That's kind of the point. Or, you know, maybe at best, you know, some games run a little better. That's kind of the point is to take a little bit of load off of my own PC when we play games. And um, kind of put that encoding load onto the other PC. Um, but it's hard for me to tell exactly what I'm outputting to you guys because I'm BNCing into the other computer. I don't have a monitor hooked up to it, so I'm like remotely hooking into it so I can see. So the quality is good, but not 100%. So if things are a little bit a little bit funky, I can't tell. So double the PCs, double the RAM, double the scuff, fingers crossed, not on that part. I, I know, I, I had a thought right before I started, is this means I can't do the, I can't split my audio I realize that's one downside. So, like, you know, I can't split the... If I want to listen to music and it not end up on the VOD, I can't currently do that. <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with a solution to that. But we don't do that often, so it's not a big problem. And considering we just finished Minecraft last week, that was really one of the only games I was really doing that with. So, yeah, the hope is that... Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out something. There's There's got to be a solution for that. Because, yeah, it's all... Uh, the way it's actually working is I'm using a plugin uh, for OBS called Teleport. And it's legit. I've got OBS open on my PC, but it's not it's not streaming anything. I'm literally just sending a feed through OBS to the OBS on the other PC. And then whatever my OBS does, it just shows on the other OBS. And Aluna, the paragon that she is, she... Uh, developed a script so I could remotely control the on and off stream with my stream deck on the other PC. That way I could just hit a button. <laughs> do we know anyone that uses a two PC setup? I know I know several streamers do it, but I don't know if I personally know people that do it. But I know it's it's kind of a semi common thing people do. Just because, yeah, and, and with the games, games are getting more and more intense as the year goes on. And streaming is already a load. And then, you know, VTuber models are also a load. And this is also going to offset because the new model is a bit more intensive. So <laughs> when I bring that one out, it was better to, like, again, you know, take some load off my PC. So that doesn't happen because, you know, it was like, you know, when we... We're playing Alan Wake 2 and uh, Ark Ascended that, um, oh boy, those were hungry games. So it was like, I need to see if I can get a different solution to this. I used to do two PC streaming in the past, but it was difficult because I could, I had, 
I didn't have good control, and I've got a little bit better control now. And plus, it was using Luna's PC as the second PC. So I had to kick her off the machine any time I went streaming, which I always felt terrible about. But, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, now it's, now it's my old PC, the, the one I had before I rebuilt. So... Games are more intensive, models are now more intensive, and intricate. What is this? <laughs> I know. It's like it's like being a streamer, especially a gaming VTuber. It's just like a non-ending arms race. That you have to just constantly be upgrading your systems and coming up with ways to like make sure your computer doesn't die in its own molten core. <laughs> Uh, that's always the frustration, especially like that's the way Windows works as well. That's gonna double feed. Hang on. Go back to that. Yeah, there we go. Now you should only hear that once. Um. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> and for a couple years there, I felt like I was ahead of the curve. I had the PC power to deal with it. And then like, yeah, Alan Wake and Arc Ascended came out and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm getting behind again. Ah, it's just that, ne yeah, it's that never ending arms race to, to, to have good quality streams. Ah. Ah, what is life? What is life? <laughs> if all this fails, just be just become an art and react VTuber. And you don't have to worry. <laughs> this is I, I this is kind of one of those things where I would like this to be a more permanent solution, but this is also just a backup solution as well. If it turns out we're playing a game that's just too intensive, I can always then make sure I you know have this as a system to use. I don't necessarily have to, but it just kind of depends, you know? Like, if we're, if we're playing, like, something like Stardew Valley, we don't really need a two-PC setup, but if we're playing, like, you know, some high graphics intensity games, then yeah, it's gonna... might require a little bit of extra hardware to, uh... keep things running smooth. Plus, I know when I uh, do the new models, when I debut it and everything, I kind of want to have some different setups as well. Which is, again, it's just, it's just more hardware power. <laughs> it's never ending. So yeah, this is this is basically this week I'm testing this method. And like like I say, hopefully you guys don't even notice anything. I mean, hopefully the quality is good. Hopefully the audio is good. Latency, everything. Hopefully, it all works perfectly fine. But, uh. But, yeah, that's just kind of, you know, and if nothing else, games run a little bit better, right? That's always the hope. But, yeah, we. Let's see, where did we leave off? So, yeah, we're playing Pacific Drive. We've been playing this. I've been enjoying this. It's been a good game. Um. Tons of games include not limited to Final Fantasy, Souls like, Like a Dragon, Horizon, Death Stranding 2, and of course Minecraft. <laughs> the irony that Minecraft is actually real. <laughs> yeah, no, like, yeah, like, so many games are like, you know, especially with Unreal Engine 5 now. A lot of games are trying to come out in that caliber, and it's just, whoosh! The hardware requirements just to run those alone. Not even stream. <laughs> the good thing is Death Stranding 2 will be on PS5, which is what I will get it on. So I won't have to won't have to use my system hardware for that. Yeah, there's just so much. I'm I'm hoping that uh, this this will work out. 
Uh, so yeah, let's see. We were mapping. We're still trying to get to the central area in this game. But we're, we're having to map routes to get there. Okay, yeah, we still need to go here to hopefully map a route. But I'm pretty sure if we go here, then this instability is going to happen. Then we're going to have to map a different route to get there. So, I don't know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Trying to get to this location is nuts. It's also weird because now I'm seeing I'm seeing two instances of OBS on my second screen. And one is slightly latenced behind only like by half a second behind the other, and I'm just like Ah, oh, it's messing with my my motion vision. Minecraft a game that came out years ago. It still destroys and chugs PC is oh what fun time. <laughs> well it's mainly it's mainly to do with mods and especially shaders. Which wouldn't happen if they would release a modding API. <laughs> you know? But they're not gonna do it. Did we okay, where did we leave off here? Did we empty out the car when we were done? It looks like we did. So we got that far. I think we emptied out the car. Yeah, because I kind of had to go last time because I had a D, D session, which I have a D and D session this week too. Because we're we were off schedule, so all right. So we got let's th on the facts. Y you know that guy on the radio, the one talking about the trees. He's the key to all of this, but he lives in a stable pocket with no way in or out. Even time remains static. Th Yeah, it's always funny. It's like, it's, it's, you know, it used to be like, what? Could your game run Crisis or something? <laughs> it's like, no. Now, can your game run Minecraft with shaders? That's the new level. Hey, kind. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I started working on one of the new graphics uh, for the stream. I may, I, I may end up debuting before all the emotes are done, but I definitely want to have some emotes done before that. So really, it's, it's March already, and I'm like, I said I would debut before March is over. And I'm gonna stick to that. It just depends on how much is done. <laughs> uh, it's it's mainly a couple drawings have been um been uh, what I've been getting stuck on. That's why it's taking so long. Um. Let's see. This is all the hardware we brought back. Did we? Where did we? Did we research? No, because we got the energy. Okay. I'm just kind of trying to figure out because yeah, the last time we played was on Thursday, so I'm trying to figure out exactly where we left off. I know the car has got some quirks we can't seem to identify. What did we? Oh gosh. The car's got one quirk left. We ever established? We ever established what it might be? I don't know. Um. Of course, got some dabblage on it. We also established that things in here don't disappear because we left these tires in. sitting on the floor. Hmm. The tires I left on the floor are still there, but the lead panels are missing? Were they in here? So just finished the last job in Power Wash Sim. 
the Warhammer D DLC and they have a roadmap that has lots of content still coming out for the game, which is nice. I'm so, it's, it's so amazing like how that game has just managed to have the longevity it has. I am surprised. Missing a lead plated panel. Right? Or is that still attached to the car? No, that's still attached. Okay. I think I know we had. We had the one on the hood, which that's in there. We had this one. I don't recall if we had one. We had the two doors, right? Yeah. Two lead plated doors. Okay, I don't, maybe we're not missing the panels. I just kind of want to be sure before I like toss valuable things onto the floor. I guess I didn't see Nintendo Switch is over seven years old now. Also, surprising the longevity on that. I know they keep whispering the next one's coming. I mean, they've been doing that for like five years. Back into the jive here. Yep. On here. Ah, that's a crude panel. We brought that back, I think, because. Oh, yeah, that had the. This one was the one that had. We can't. It had the neat. Uh, decals on it, but we can't get the decals off of it, so... Well, that just vanished into nothing. Good. <laughs> uh, play this game. So they also added a track to the streamer safe mode. I'm trying to remember how to play this game all of a sudden. It's like I have a, I've, it's been a week. Alright. Because uh, we can fix. We ended up bringing back a lot of putty, didn't we? Got three in there, and we got three in the car. It up. Yeah. We can actually repair up the car. Okay, what? Okay. Research. Oh. A treat. Seven years of life. I can guarantee when people think of the Switch, it's only two Zelda games and that's it, you reckon. Uh, I mean, Zelda Animal Crossing that they killed support for way too early. Um. Mario at this point. I don't know. I like the Switch. I mean, it. I like it. I have a, I have a Steam Deck now, though, too. I like it, too. I like them both. Because there are a couple things, like, you can only get on the Switch. Like the Xenoblade series. <laughs> you can only get on the Switch. So, what research can we do with that? Expand our locker further. Can. Liberator, which I think means we can actually just cut parts off. We don't have to scrap them. Almost energy the anchors. Generate gives off an unmistakable and unique sender should easily be detected from frame equipment. Okay. Lights, headlights. Flare. 
outside the blue lights. Let's try to see what's down the line. Just get an idea. We got the insulated panel, so we should probably get the insulated door. Maybe we can match up. And get another side rack. Get the side fuel tank. side battery because sometimes we do and we'll need another side rack Attach this just literally on these back windows, huh? Gas generally doesn't seem to be a problem that we've run into a lot, it's been more battery charge. We also need to figure out where it is. What is it doing? Where we go? What's what's the area like we're going to? I'm gonna go here. We don't know exactly what it's like. Come on. So with the new setup, the stream looks smoother. Volume's moon is gaining more power. Ah, oh, nice. I'm hoping it works and that we're, we gotta do longevity tests on it too, just to make sure. But yeah, I'm really hopeful this works out. Music in game maybe a tad up, that means, yeah, no it is. For some reason on the jukebox, the... Go quiet. Um, that side battery, because I figure. We don't run out of battery when we're out. Uh, that's all unstable energy. Now we could get the liberator. I feel like more storage, maybe. Roof rack. I 
we'll just get this. Just go ahead and get ourselves filled up, right? Yeah. Then we could add even more storage. Let me see if we can. But anyway. Oh wait, is that radio music? Uh we don't have much left we can do, so Flare and that's about it. Okay. I'm hopeful this streaming method works out. I'm always, I'm always heavily concerned about quality. I'm always desperate to make sure the quality looks good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was trying so hard to make the best quality experience I can give her. Unless y'all pay for it anyway. Right? Okay, uh... We need to. Ah, oh, the car has got another quirk, and we don't know what the problem is. So we'll just. Again, it's kind of one of these cases of. Wait. And we ended up. Was this the one we. Hang on. Was this the one we sussed out but ran out of guesses? Because for some reason it didn't. Or did we actually fix it? See, the correct angle too, because sometimes it. Yeah. Okay. We did. We did fix that quirk because there was a quirk every time the hood closed. Uh, the headlights would get brighter for some reason. Uh, let's see. So uh, we just try to we try to hit the most common ones to make some guesses. So, um, let's say toggles. Okay, so none of that's not... Again, it's one of these things where the car's got a quirk and it's not shown any visible symptoms, so that's always... Been the tricky part. So we just kind of make guesses. Just, we'll leave it. 
until it's something that makes itself a little bit more known. Did we deck out the car how we liked? storage container on to it. She really taught me I think this is the track they added to the day. safe one because I've not heard this one before. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> Designer 56, thank you for the follow. Damage the, I mean, there's a little bit of damage everywhere, but the tires are looking spiffy. They've taken like no damage whatsoever. I'm going away. I'm back. Teams don't break anything. Yeah, no, uh, it should all remain the same because again, I'm like the only difference is is like I'm running two OBSs. One is running on my PC, then one's running on the other PC. But all the OBS on my PC is doing is just literally sending a raw feed over the home network to the other one, so it's not doing any encoding just sending the raw feed and then the other OBS so it's like so all the controls I'm still controlling everything on this side so the other OBS just basically gets one big chunk of feed so it should all work but yeah it's a good it's a good thing to test the only thing I have to do remote is hit the record and not record button not record stream button. Uh, feel like so you don't know what you're getting into. It's bleh. Right in the eye. You don't know what you're getting into. It's hard to make a decision because I feel like this is a little bit of waste. At the same time, we we could just get into some serious shit. I mean, what we could do is just make two sets of panels, but how's these these things are looking okay? <sighs> Nothing. I mean, we have repair putty on us as well, so.
that. So many flares. Stupid amount of flares. Dial back on the flares. Oh, that's the other lead plate panel. Okay, I thought we were missing one. Hey, horror pony! Fishing treats are coming in from the left. Well, they should be. Because I, I did set that up so that, uh... Well, they should come from the opposite side I'm s sitting on. Changed, I changed it a bit with the paprikas, though, because that way the paprikas didn't clump together as badly. They were they were notorious for being one one solid clump. All right, uh, let's scrap some things, and I guess we'll select our path and go. Blah! Disgusting. It wasn't an invitation. <laughs> Ugh, yuck. You're all banned. <laughs> uh, that should reduce the uh, issue with them. Um Uh, clumping. They clumped so bad before. Uh, okie dokie. So, we should be good to go, I guess. We don't know, again, we don't know what quirks with the car, so I guess the heck with it, right? Found the quirk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cool, I think we found the quirk. <laughs> All right, so when the battery, I guess, is full. Every car door opens. There it is. <laughs> uh, does it need both? Does it need a ceiling kit and a 9 volt battery? Both. I've never seen it require two things to fix. Okay, just took the one. Alright. Yep, that's it. Alright. The hood shut. No. That's a heck of a thing to discover. <laughs> All right, so we got a summer tire, we got some putty, we got a mechanics kit, jumper, we got Healy. Ugh, this is empty. Uh, maybe we should put a ceiling kit in. Yeah, let's get a ceiling kit. Just in case we blow a tire right out of the gate. Hopefully not, but you know. Our, that's our kind of road repair kit. We've got empty boxes. We've got our spare battery now. And we've got a little bit of extra storage, so that should. It's good to go. Alright. So we're gonna take this route. Because we're still 
trying to get here, but like I say, I think this is gonna happen. This instability is gonna happen as soon as we uncover that one, so. Ah, who knows. Could take that. How much space is that? This take, this takes up a weird amount of space. We're not generally in trouble for gas. We've, we've Moon's famous last words, but... Alright. Good to go, car. Got 85 on the battery now. I didn't actually. The door shut behind me. And actually, I looked to see what we were getting into. What's it look like? We got. There's one thing there we don't recognize a lot of houses, eerie darkness, overcharged electricity. Crawlers, doctors, left, right. Man, this is gonna be a place. Jesus. Sulfur and smoke. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna, gonna be. Yeah. That's gonna be fun to drive in. got coming up here. No stable exits, but doesn't matter because we're going through. It's got touch and go. God, those are evil. Uh, looks like we're a bit low on our time there, so we're going to be a little bit quick. There's not much in terms of stable anchors, but there are some. A couple things I don't recognize. And spike puddles. Hey, Nelly! Huh? Huh? Is it not? That stopped halfway? break <laughs> you know working Sure, I guess we'll grab it. Let's 
some extra storage. We'll get rid of it if we don't need it. This place is just creepy. Never been stopped on the way to somewhere before. Radiated, but oh, yeah. I am dying. Grab and go. Smash and grab. Dine and dash. Ah, the chemicals. That's what I was here for. Was the chemicals. the radio a bit because some of the tracks are louder than others. Find a body laying on the couch or something. Yep. Yep.
Gav? <laughs> Bouncy bottom there, huh? Okay, we're not going to have much time here, so... We'll go for that, so we're going to... This, this rope, though... Francis Koch, yeah, the scientist. I got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid bad news. Those drums of experimental gravity gel we were sending back to you are not going to get there. Neither is the truck, it seems. It's some kind of atmospheric shift, and then more anomaly is than I think I've ever seen before. Everyone's safe, but a driver has broken a leg and asked for the gel. Well, the whole trip of road between uh, the whole strip of road between the lab site and that old gas station got smeared and scrambled, so now it's more like some kind of giant trampoline. I'm not kidding. Anything that touches that road just takes off. Uh, it's starting to spread some of the forest and swamp nearby. Not that the gel is just spilled on the ground, it's like it's part of the ground now. It's part of the earth itself. So I guess you can update your inventory logs on that. There's some kind of maintenance request that I should file for this? Or fly. Don't have much time. This is a low, low stability area, so. Just kind of follow the road, grab these anchors, and get to the next area. Except. The way the land is, I can't tell where the road actually is. Land and road are not very well differentiated here. road tires though.
You a good one? You're a good one. Right? Oh yeah, you're a... Are you? Uh, I think this is one of the good ones. This is purely suitable at this end. I feel like we cannot give the animal. We're charging. You are damaging the fuck out of my car. Get out. Thought you were the good kind. You were not. Okay, let's see. We can probably, you know what? I'm gonna try. Back into the car to do some damage. Um, we're gonna off road it a bit. My rear view mirror. Yeah, those bunnies aren't good because there's another kind that will just charge your battery, which I thought maybe that one was, but it's not. Oh! Fuck. Not too close to the car! Skip that energy. 
maybe. Maybe not. We'll just take the road up there. See, they don't normalize the, the they equalize the tracks on there. Oh god, I didn't Oh shit. Park here after a forty point turn. Just that storm. light bulbs into flares. I don't like this area. This area is... This area is spooking me. Where's the anchor? Let's grab it and go. It's so far away. So we gotta, it's time for us to get out. Got the anchor, so. Plenty of time, actually. Stability's closing 
pretty slow. But the road is being very mean to us up ahead. things. You know what? I'm gonna loot. We've got time. but there's nothing for you to come back so I so someone would be here but they're making me leave and I don't know where they take me they said it's not safe here Go. Not time. I panic whenever I hear that alarm, and I really shouldn't. So we tend to have more time than. What it kind of lets on at first.
Some do, some do collapse faster than others, though, so... But you don't always know what's up ahead. The road can be difficult up ahead, and then you're... stuck in a bad way. Oh, hi, what you up to? Go. Get out. So I didn't drop the thing I need, but... All right. I'm gonna... Since the back end's looking a bit... There we go, we're in good condition. And we got plenty of time to go, yeah. Okay, so we've got a reasonable amount of time. We don't have forever here, but we've got some time. Eerie darkness and overcharged electricity. I don't know what that's about, but I guess we'll find out. And bolt bunnies. So those are the ones that do damage. There's some good ones and there's some bad ones. Surprisingly, on this run, I don't think we've seen the good ones. Hey, Inky! How goes the drive? Not too bad. We're still trying to get access to here, but it seems like... All paths block my way. <laughs> it's just gonna be dark. Oh god. You are shitting me, this is your darkness. The wind is blowing us away, somebody. Stop. Okay. Well, we need to focus on energy. Uh, it's going to be an underpass, so we're going to focus on grabbing these anchors first. Take out a park. Hopefully we've got the extra battery charge. Jesus Christ, is it dark? I've even got the brighter nights on. Following this road. I am glad I grabbed that extra battery. Jeebus. This is nuts. This is this isn't just your regular everyday darkness. This is advanced darkness. That. I will stop for that. Again, we don't have infinite time here, so we do need to. What the hell is the dark? Jesus. Oh my god, I can't see shit. Oh, 
Lights. I just want to get this stuff and go. This is this is nuts. How far do I think I in? hit mid game or I have no idea. I think I'm still early on to be honest. I missed a turn? Didn't I? Also, just to confirm. Uh game while in menus. Huh. Semi invulnerable while in menus. Faster nights are off. You can turn car damage off. Interesting. I didn't notice that. You could just pre-run it. Interesting. Um, you can play this as much as the, any way you want. Uh, the, are there new settings I didn't pay attention to? Uh. I feel like they've changed this. Uh, loot highlight on, high visibility loot. Whether brighter nights, yeah. See, I've got brighter nights on. <laughs> this is dark. Well, I miss the crazy. I'm not even supposed to be driving. There's that option. It, I, it, I mean, it's a, you know, it's just for if people want to, you know, just maybe people want to chill drive. You know, they don't want to. No, I didn't miss a turn. That that's an overpass. I went under it, so we're just gonna cut. We're kind of gonna do a loop. So we need a lot of energy to get out of here. Cover the look. Oh, God. Uh, cover the road in left rights. good stuff in it. Keep the headlights on. Oh, there's... I need the extra flares. Cry me. Breaking my own rules. I'm breaking my own rules. I said we need to focus on the anchors. But I need that stuff, because that's like. Rod didn't do me much good, did it? Back door charged. Oh, that's a. Oh, we need that. Hang on. That'll be good. That. That'll 
deal with the car, actually. But actually... There's the anchor. Oh, good, an abductor. God, I didn't think there were abductors on this map. I wanted to pull ahead. idea to pull these anchors so close to the car. Head up. Shit, shit, shit. Damage my side battery. Is that my container? Go, go, go! God damn it. Ugh, I hate those things. You never see them until it's too damn late. Christ. Lightning rods damage. Oh, 
A lot of good that lightning rod's doing. Charge left on it. Ugh. I hate those wriggling wrecks. They're the worst. Especially in this environment. You just don't see them. I rarely see them until it's too late. But in this case, definitely don't see it until it's too late. damaged but we're all right um so we need to take this next turn up here it's like we end up on another overpass decide so can't play this game just watch it and stress it we could play it so like there's no damage Tristan's kit. Of course not. Actually, I need the headlight. this road. Where is this road? Uh, back there. There's a road here. God damn it. Oh, fuck, it's blocking the bridge. Jesus. 
Thank you. Fuck's sake, this map is mad. God damn it. Stop <laughs> breaking my car. Thank, thank you, computer, for letting go of the mouse, too. Enjoyable. Swear to God, you stay away from me. It's losing our mind. Stop it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, let me get ahead of it! I hate this map. I hate it. <laughs> this map is terrible. Really carry all that stuff. <sighs> okay, let's see. So there's So if we go for that anchor, we'll be fine if we get up to that overpass, that bridge, and then we can pop that anchor. That one looks like that one's on a hill. I can't tell if that's uphill or downhill, I think it's uphill. I'm stressed. <laughs> but yeah, stuff happens in this game. It's not normally this stressful. Great, mini. Wait, where am I? I've lost the road. Oh, 
that's the alarm. Stability is breaking down. All right. Um, I'm too close to either of the portals to get out of here. Ideally, I want to get to the other one there. I think that other one's on top of a hill, so I don't know if I can reach it. So I need to get further enough, far enough away from the other one. Storm warning. Yeah, I know. This is Zap, and it's time for another segment of Zap's Douglas for your knowledge tree max. This time we're going to be learning about the Western Wind Seeker. Interestingly, the hardwood of this plant contains a variety of special chemicals. One thing found is platonic acid, which is considered to be an irritant and can set off allergic reactions. It can even lead to occupational asthma and food murder. Another compound found inside is Dutiplin. And no, I did not make that word up. One of those wriggling wrecks. I'm doing my best. Anyway, Ujaplankton acts as something of a fungicide to help the tree fight off imperial lotting. The last chemical is Thuja, whose presence in leaves can lead to a menthol smell when crushed. It is, however, a monitored substance, and it, like much in the zone, can be very harmful to the nervous system when ingested. Speaking of which, I keep hearing broadcast real advice that explorers are trying to get various so plants and zone life. I cannot stress how unwise this is. You should stop, or you will die. With that hopefully educational ending note, it is time to call it. As always, stay safe out there. Keep your eyes on the trail. Let's not panic. Let's don't panic. It. And don't eat it. Grab that other anchor. <sighs> Sake. Far enough away. Gateways open. Off-road tires. Flat by the feel of it. Have a nice field trip? No. It was the worst one yet.
Thanks, I hated it. Yep, she's got another problem. Who knows what it is? Ugh. So what happened here? Is it just the... Oh, it's just low. Come back with a good bit. It's not bad. Uh, milk never curdles in the zone. 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 Where are we? We're in the zone. Ah, <laughs> that was that map. Is, that that is the most stressful map I've been on. And yeah, look. Only frickin' route we have to get there is now blocked off by extreme. It's actually just called the Midnight Forest. <sighs> We're gonna have to wait for that to clear. I think we're definitely going to need to expand the antenna. But yeah, we can't. doesn't work. Alright, well we kind of established that... Things in here don't seem to disappear, so... on the ground. These tires have been here for a few sessions now, so. I'm not as worried about leaving that. Um, Probably won't yield us anything. 
bit. Expand the antenna, so Ghost on the road. It's a cold one. Seat rack. What a white one. My heart is frozen. Oh, we can get the back seat tanks if Back seat slots are for. Um, you might hang behind. Hang behind me. can't possibly be safe. Look at it, it's too big, it's too wobbly, it won't fit under the hood, it won't fit under the seat. It's the work of a maniac. It has to go on a seat face. Um, gone in with the insulated uh, doors that we would have taken so much less damage in those places. had that shitty one on there for like ever. God, these actually would have been kind of good to have. Mount on the side panels, or do I just put them on the door? Ah, oh, we should get these other tools. Well, we can't get that anyway. Okay. Something good. Got a little bit of energy left. Don't have the energy for that. Get a roof rack. That's for roof storage. Need to stop being so complicated. <laughs> um, did I just save? I'm just in the side fuel tank at this point. Again, that big can. I don't know we'll hold off on that. And that tech tree is what you mean. Like, uh, where do you go? I know when I first saw it, I was like, oh god, what the fuck? 
There's a lot, but I mean, a lot of it's, it, it kind of locks itself off because there's certain things we can't even get anyway. It's not as complicated as I thought it would be. Well, we could unlock the roof rack. Give us things later. Go. That'll give us some later access to things. Yeah, we can put that extra gas can in there because I think we're, we're adding weight to the car, so we're using up more gas. There, that'll be good. First, the tech tree does look a little bit overwhelming, but it's not super terrible. It's just it's just decision making. Like, what do what do I want? <laughs> um. Okay, so let's let's get a proper headlight on this thing finally. this game been watching too many people have fun with it and you're constantly spinning your wagon out <laughs> it's fun off-road tires though off-road tires will help a lot they will keep you from spinning out so bad uh, okay. um, well we can't go that route for now so we're just gonna have to wait I guess go do some energy gathering. Nothing to do until that clears up. We can go through. I mean, the thing of it is, you can drive through there. It's just it's gonna rip the car apart pretty bad. We need to get there in as good a condition as possible. Um. been there before. We could head towards there. That's a new place. So it's got some kind of negative condition. Hmm. Seems to indicate a lot of bunnies. Looking at the map. So this is just always dark. Uh, but I'm guessing there's a lot of bunnies pain in the butt. Makes a good argument for getting insulated panels, though. Which they take sheets. They take plasma. That's kind of the big one. But they'll give us electric resistance. Um, 
with these kind of panels is can't decal them very well. Um. Watch up, we get mad that we did that we we're dropping parts on the floor. <laughs> Lead one. And yeah, we'll take it off. Let's repair it actually. It's taking its fair share of dabblage. It does look ass a little bit more. I'm sure, this weighs. dumping the stuff on your floor, but... Oh! Look at the... Does it have its own lightning rod on it? Or is that just... graphically how it... Plus 
butterflies good now that I did that. So damaged, I would at least putty repairing it. Rod's taking more damage. Um, Then worth repair. Hey, Featherfoot. <sighs> feel so damaged that I feel like. Then again, with the shit we got into the last time. See behaving. Well, I suppose it's been a rough road trip. Look how this is still locked. Relocks every time. Okay, um, so yeah, we just gotta wait for that area to clear up. get back over there once it's cleared up. Brain witch up too. There you go. Okay. Down there. Um got the old crude headlight. Oh, 
Ara's got another quirk to it. And again, just what? What's your problem, car? Again, the car's got a problem, and then we don't know what the symptom even is. You know, it's I honestly wish these quirks. The, the quirk system's neat, but the problem is I just end up with so many quirks. Where it's like I don't there you don't know what the problem is. Like what's the problem? Why <laughs> I look on the diagnostic panel, it's like, yeah, your car's got a quirk, and I'm like, oh okay. It doesn't, not the one I've seen. Whatever, I guess we'll just figure it out. We'll figure it out when we're out on the road. I guess we'll, we'll head up here, I guess, because, again, this area is blocked off at the moment. And we can open up this route. So what are we going to get into? Stable anchors, broken bunnies, left, right, honeypots, spark towers, sizzling mist, pacemakers. Uh, some kind of loot we don't recognize. Zone receiver, gas station, plasma generators, wrecked cars, abandoned cars. Okay, none of that's too bad. The Warrens. Concerned about what that means. What does the Warrens mean? <laughs> It'll be okay for time there. That won't be too bad. There's a couple routes we could get there. We could honestly bypass two routes to go. But we'll just... Let's go that way. We good? Yeah, she's, she's got a quirk again. We just... Try to slam some guesses down, but might as well, right? the horn is honked. What happens every time the horn is honked? Wipers slow down. Got it. 
mean, I suppose I shouldn't complain, because, you know, it's at least these quirks we run into. They're not, like, critical. So I, I kind of complain that it's like, oh, the, these quirks are so annoying because they I don't, never know what they are, but at the same time, it's kind of a good thing. <laughs> like, it's kind of good I don't know what they are because it means they're non-critical. Uh, I might take a quick break here. I need to go dehydrate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I will take a quick break and I will be back shortly.
coming in when I had to go take a break. Welcome in, Nelly. <laughs> How you doing? Well, 20 months. That is almost a year. It's coming up on a year. Uh. Wait. <laughs> uh, I just I did I I just did all that digi. <laughs> Thank you for the treat. How how are you doing? How was your stream? Was it Borderlands? No, wait. You were doing Halo. That's right. How was Halo? Good time. Uh, so we finally cleared this area. That area was absolute fucking hell. Um, but now it's covered in storms, so we're gonna plot another area we haven't been to. Well, just finished Reach when D3 and Nelly started Halo 1. <sighs> Hopefully you had a good time. Also, how's for everyone that's been watching? Is the stream still looking alright? Everything, everything swish? There's a stinky point, but other than that, it's great. It's just one giant pixel. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm using two. I'm using a two PC setup, so the problem is I can't fully see the quality <laughs> coming out. So it's like I have to like this. This is this. We're testing it this week to see if it works out. Uh, yeah. So we we want to go up here. Since we haven't been up there anyway, well, that all mess all clears out. So what's here? Stable anchors, broken bunnies, honey pots, sizzling mist, spark tower, shakers, electric tourists, or those regular tourists. Okay, that should be all right. Broken bunnies are all right. Hey, Fidel. I didn't check the stability of the area. Uh, we do have to drive through. There's also anomalous clouds. That's, that's just the plot of Final Fantasy VII, isn't it? Plasma towers. 
Why did your mom let you have two? Stupid thing, I'm an idiot. Plasma. I realize that hammer only had one charge left on it. I didn't even get the plasma. Woo! Uh, apparently there wasn't any. Wow, it was ripped off twice. in front of me. Uh, what are we looking at? Let's see, there's one behind me. One right over there. And that's the tunnel. Oh, that looks like that's in a terrible place. and I busted my hammer. We're getting to the point where I think we've uh, gathered about as much stable energy as we need. I mean, we still need plenty more, but I think once we get to the next area, it's going to start being like unstable energy. So we kind of want to you know, focus on getting the last of what we need. Causing it to open up around me. It's in a distance. Pop that anchor. Okay, we got those two. Now we're going through the tunnel. And just head up there. Yeah, it's a bit of an odd route, so.
really nothing. Moshing too hard. I should have stopped for that car. Those are the good ones. And I'm hearing, is it? Might just be the wind. It's just the wind. All right, so there should be. to each other. I did have a hammer. If I had a hammer. Good. Fuck me. <laughs> Freaking tourist right there. Right behind me. Cheeky bastard. Oh, don't do that. Scare the shit out of me. I'm dying faster than I'll heal here. Okay, we got all the anchors in the area. It's pretty much just a run out of here now. Head straight out to the end and down that logging road. Oh, you got jump scared by a garbage bag in this earlier. It's weird because it's not like there's a lot of stuff that like really actively comes to harm you. 
Everything is just kind of passive in its ability to harm you. But it's still like, you, you still just never know. You're still kind of expecting shit to just, you know, do terrible things to you. It like subverts your expectation even though you kind of know. And that's really good that it can kind of keep that eeriness up despite you know, most of the time knowing you're kind of safe. I mean, not safe, but, you know. It's just so much of everything is just, it's, you know, passive danger. It's just a combination of being dark and having seen a few tourists earlier. Yeah, tourists always get me stupid nervous. They do, do it. they will just sneak up on you. Is this the road? Yeah. Uh, can I build a new hammer? I'll just and the thing of it is, the thing with Um, the thing with tourists is like, you don't always know when they're coming for you. That's the thing, because sometimes you'll just, you'll try to entice them into moving, and they won't. They just seem completely disinterested in you. And then you'll think, oh, well, the rest of them must be disinterested. And then you just turn around and there's one immediately behind you and you're just, what the fuck? That's such a good, like... And I, and I enjoy trying to figure them out. Start having issue with survival in this though. You're kind of getting your ass kicked. You have a slight advantage in knowing how to deal with them from watching me. I've been doing okay, and I I just learned today that you could turn a lot of things off if you want. Like you can turn off the car taking damage, or you could turn off yourself taking damage. It's like yeah, that's a good just accessibility feature or just gameplay style feature. I mean we're playing full damage, you know, all that kind of stuff, but you know, that's just good if you want to just want to play without getting hurt, you just want to drive your car, <laughs> however you want to play. I do that actually, stop damaging. Yeah, it was, uh, was that our gameplay? Yeah, like car damage, player damage, ambient damage, death. You could just not die. You could not lose stuff. A lot of, uh... I haven't died yet, so I'm not 100% sure what goes on. Yes, you are. You know what that sound means. Our time is up. We are loaded with time. I uh, there's nothing in that. 
problem is there's just nothing here. There's something up there. No? We'll take a look. Oh my god, I've spent a lot of gas already. I think the stuff on my car is just weighing me down. Do 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 do. Let's siphon some gas, maybe. We do have that other gas can. And that other storage, just in case. I, I like I like when games do stuff like that because it's like people play how they want. People are gonna I mean otherwise people are gonna mod it so they can play how they want anyway. So does it really matter that much? Inevitably, someone would make a mod where you just don't take damage, and it's like yeah, just do it. <laughs> else between me and there? Uh, no. This was... Wasn't a lootable map, but I mean, we got what was important, honestly. Another car up there I'm gonna try to... I'm a little bit worried because there's honey pots. Oh, come on! Why does the radio always play these weird messages when I'm... Oh, that was it. Oh, fuck's sake. I wish you could have. I wish you could have a port. Oh, here we go. I wish you could have a portable radio. Just so you could hear the. Uh, So you could hear when you get weird messages. I'm in radiation. Okay. Make a hammer, can I? Nope. Plenty of time to go up to that one area, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah, more really, yeah. More relaxing. Because I mean, it may be sometime I want to play this game later on after I've already beaten it, you know, and I'm done streaming it. You know, it's just like, ah, man, I just, I just like to drive. You know, not worry about. It'd be fucking brilliant if someone came up with a VR mod for this, though. This game would be perfect for it. This game would legit, like there's so much about this game that could be converted to VR quite easily. I mean, I say easily, I mean, in terms of just like, there, the, the, a lot of the stuff is so simplified that you could, you could do it. Hopefully maybe that'll be a future thing. You want to play as a as a, as a car adventure and less survival for you? Thank you for letting you know. Ah, no problem. I just I just discovered it today because we got to an area that was just like stupid dark, and I just was like, I wanted to point out that like, oh yeah, see, I've got this on brighter nights, and it was just pitch black. <laughs> and then I found those settings. I was like, ah, okay. You can just play this as chill as you want. That's enjoyable. I like that. Okay, let's put her in park. What are we? Oh wow, this is a 
Stream conditions the warns intense radiation. Oh god, how am I gonna do this though? Just gotta get the car close. I don't have enough energy to escape right now. Well, we got off-road tires on this car, and let's... Take her off-road. Let's see what they mean by extreme conditions. It's extreme! Oh, that's a pacemaker. I think if you... There's something you can give them, and they'll give you a certain material in return. I'm just, I can't remember what it is. Off-road tire, though, those are... Get off! No, 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 no. Oi! Did you just flip my fucking car? Oi! Am I not able to do anything about this? Do. Huh. No. Fascinating. I rolled a car before, isn't it? She had recently returned home to the Olympic Peninsula to lick her wounds after a failed stint in academia. In a fit of obsession or redemption, or quite frankly, both, she cobbled together a laboratory in her basement and produced the first limb wave on nothing but a killer hunch and plain ingenuity. Or so the story goes. It's never clearly stated anywhere what limb waves and limb technology really were. It's all vague claims of wild theories dreams that border more on the mystical than the scientific. What we do know is that limb stood for unlimited frequency. Radio waves, once souped up and modulated just right, supposedly enabled the control of matter in a way that modern science both back then and now could only dream of. After Dr. Turner's discovery, she and a few friends, scientists and PhDs all, toyed with limb in their garage labs for about four years. Local police and fire departments start making regular house calls. 
spurred on by increasingly disgruntled neighbors calling in about incidents that seem to grow larger and more disturbing as the years go on. After one too many reports, the federal government takes notice and thus begins their severe interest in limb technology. The next part happens quickly. In 1955, the United States government seizes not only the physical area where Dr. Turner and her scientists live, but the entire concept of limb technology. The area is at first evacuated under the pretense of safety, but quickly commandeered by the government. They establish a brand new department called ARDA, Advanced Resonance Development Authority, which was to be headed by Dr. Turner herself. Over the next 15 years, the government expands the zone's borders. They clear out civilians as they go and erect massive 500-meter walls to keep out an increasingly curious public. The zone started in the northernmost tip of the peninsula, then expanded outward twice, once in 1961, again in 1967, to the outer perimeter we see now. dallying this much that, that side route did cost me some time was flipping the car down to the road down here yeah not a good idea Ooh. No! Get off! anything uh come on Stop it! God, get off my car! There's 
some right pricks, you know that? Streamer, fish greetings. <laughs> hey, wire ball. Oh, thank you for the sub. Oh, can I not get in there? Princess Frosty, thank you for the raid. How's everyone doing? Uh. Please, no more broken bunnies. Goodness me. I think I'm, I don't think I'm close enough to the gas. So we'll just do it this way. Playing grounded. That is something on our future to playlist. Hopefully, you had fun. Uh, we do have enough energy to get out of here, so. Plus, there's an anchor right over there. Uh, craft bench. Can stand to loot a little bit. What? Little bollards out here. Nope. Okay, not there. There's a. I'm in radiation. Ooh, it's spicy air. Mm, the air is spicy. Um, anything else? Look in there real quick since I'm dying anyway. <laughs> here in a second once I'm not bleeding out of every orifice uh. there we go what did I grab plasma scrapper ooh we'll take that home and repair it I'm just gonna eat that right away. So I'm not dying. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I died a few times. Uh, I had to support. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, clear my throat. Had to support a fellow MLP streamer at the raid. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much. Get a drink there. Ugh. Yeah, we do have we have grounded on our one of our future playlists. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, uh, let's see. So yeah, we grab that 
that anchor. I don't like being this close to it before I grab it, though. Although we can portal out anywhere. It's not giving us distance restrictions, so... I'm gonna pull up ahead. I put everything back in the car, right? Uh, well, welcome in, everyone. I guess I never tell what I do. I'm just pretty much a stream of variety things, but survival games are my favorite. I'll play all types. I'm playing Pacific Drive, which is basically a survival driving game. You're in an, a government exclusion zone where weirdness has happened. No, not the bunnies! Uh, no, 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 no! Yeah, get off the car, get off the car, get off the car! Get off. Get. 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 Oh, that spawned a left, right, right behind me. God, every time I grab an anchor, it spawns bunnies. But these are bunnies, by the way. <laughs> Why I'm calling them that. They're referred to as bunnies. These are broken bunnies. That spawned a left, right, right behind me. God, I'm almost tempted not to bother getting the other anchors. Wasting. My battery. Okay. Uh, off to take a nap. All right. Enjoy your nap. Thank you for, for bringing everyone in. Uh, let's. See. All right. Uh, it's just like every time we grab one, you just spawn another bunny. Venture, nothing gained, right? There's that. Oh, that's the road out. Since we've got enough to get us in and out of here, this is just... Good looting times. Something on my car is... Not in great shape. again. This game, it's this game that does it. Before it was a Windows problem that was causing that, but now it seems to be very specific to this game. I'm getting a lot of crowbars. I appreciate it, but I don't don't need all these crowbars. So <laughs> as I break one of them. Okay, I get. Look for as big as this building was. There was like nothing in here. <laughs> Yeah, I do. What do you 
two gears. I can see the other thing up there. Ugh, stretching a hydrate. put that extra battery pack on the car because everything's trying to drain my battery. Really? What's with these buildings just having nothing in them? the alarm. Right, so the other anchor's just... I saw it. No, I don't see it. Probably got plenty of time. Ah, uh, yeah, we're fine. Um... I... swear I saw that. I just take the car around. Let these streamer things blame, blame the instability. That sounds like they has a phone placed near a speaker and hung up. Yeah, it kind of gives that vibe, doesn't it? I'm gonna learn they don't really have to hurry that much. Got time. Well, 
hit this and then hit the gate and we'll be laughing. Well, I say that because what's going to happen is those fucking bunnies are going to spawn and drive off with my car. <laughs> favorite bloody thing to do. Yep. Get off. No. get as close to that one as we want because for some reason that one does not have a uh, distance restriction on it I don't understand why is that panels have the uh panel. Yeah, they have these the thermo crystals. Which I need if I want the new engine. drive up to it since it doesn't uh, so now, like I said doesn't have a distance restriction on it I can get as close to it as I want so we'll get close then pop it Left, right, left, right. <laughs> well, what do you know? You made it back. Wasn't too sure for a moment there. Doubt me. I know what I'm doing. At this point, it's not even my first rodeo. So what's the map look like? Okay, we have a clear path. So we'll finally be able to reach that area. And we've unlocked two areas up there. Okay. All right. Car is fucking nah. I hit a left right anomaly, which is essentially I lose control of the car. <laughs> That's what those little kind of purple pinkish swirlies you see. Uh, we'll get that repaired. 
plasma one. Um, power of plasma makes this upgrade scra upgrade scrap almost feral. Feel its fury as it shudders into your hands. Hear its roar as it tears metal from metal. Scrap like you've never scrapped before. Now look at that. Nice and repaired up. Yep, all my parts are still here, so that's good. It's on the old fax machine. Bah! Hey, Steel Mug. Uh, no, man, you don't get it. It's not that I can't sleep. It's that since coming here, I don't need to sleep. I haven't felt tired in six years. I have that exact opposite problem. <laughs> I've not felt rested in six years. Let's put those in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. So many paint decals. Oh man, this is just so many car covers that you can't really put decals on. It's like I was very excited for the car customization up until like so many things just you don't see the decals under the, the bits. Capacity here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you can't. Oh, I was hoping I could repair that. It's only car parts. Alright, well, I mean, I hate adding extra parts to that, but we'll use that. Um, so we need to use up this scrapper, though. There we go. <laughs> Uh, this guy should give me a new one. Thank you. Just <laughs> remove all the protection. That sounds like a great idea. Some more, oh yeah, repair putty. Goes in there, nice. Does repair putty regain its charges when I come back, or when you rezone? Interesting if that's true. Um, I guarantee the car's probably got at least one quirk. Of course it does. No, it doesn't. It has no quirks. We've come back from a mission and the car has no quirks. That's amazing. All right. Let's see. So, what can we still unlock? We can do that, which we have the roof rack for that. This all takes unstable energy. Get a crude flashlight. Hmm. Think about that. Side of floodlights. We can get a seat rack. Side fuel tank might not be a bad idea at this point. 
Again, we are using that side rack. Hmm. Um, I can't get that. All takes unstable energy. I've not unlocked any of this. Um, kind of trying to get like things I feel like are a priority before we unlock everything else. There's a lot of good stuff in this one. All right, so we get new batteries, we get generator types, plasma chargers. That's unstable. That most likely gets mounted on the side rack. Solar panels. I think with our battery on the side, we're fairly good. Um, I think side fuel tank's gonna be... Something that's going to become useful. So we've got that. of unlocking things we might have left. What's that cost? Almost nothing. Let's just do it, see what it is. <laughs> Beware, no one in the zone has handled an orb like this before, and we have no idea what the consequence might be. You know there's an achievement for doing this, right? There has to be. is too much. It's overinflated. It's not regulation. Yeah, we need all this important stuff to get out and play basketball instead. You, know, you gotta keep your mind clear, right? 
I mean, it says it's such a generously sized target. How difficult it would be to score a few points. But when you overinflate the basketball, quite difficult. Uh. Right, well, we're not using the seat racks at the moment. The back seat. Ah, the back seat tank. That'll be a good one. Because we do have. Back. We do have a rack in the back seat. So, since we've got a battery on the side, Fuel the car. Oh, uh, yeah. So now we've got almost double the battery charge and we've got an extra fuel tank. So that's. will be good. Be good for trips. We did crack that window and. Car flipped. Those bunnies flipped my car. All right, we got that. Um, don't have a lot of energy left. <sighs> Debate. Side floodlights. We can get. I'm gonna go towards the. Relightable flares. This may not be the best improvised flashlight in the world has ever known, nor is it likely to meet even the most lenient safety standards. It may just be. It may even just send your eyebrows. It does kind of work though. What's the blueprint look like? Takes road flares. Okay. I'm thinking maybe if we can get the flashlight. Ah, that takes some stable energy. Because uh, one of those would be good. Plus, we got so many freaking flares. Alright, well. I flood lights. I figured it's a blueprint. The automobile world, ne automobile world needs these days is more side mounted floodlights. The practical application of such may not yet be clear, but it looks like you may be about to find some. I'm guessing that's just a side mount, which. My side mounts are full. Got. I mean, if we had a backseat battery, how much energy do we have? We might be able to get. Uh, uh, yeah, we're low. Wow, just that takes two. Let's say, cause then we can mount. I'm sure there's probably. So not a backseat battery. That's all right. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Um, so what do? I'm guessing these mount on the side, right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna worry about those right now. Again, that one dark area. Oh god. Could have used them, but I think the relightable flares will help. God, that's extra. I gotta carry though. Um. 
Having some would be good though. Just to make sure not to mix them up. They would be the size of flares. Well, no, okay. Right. <laughs> uh, we'll storm in here for now. getting full of things. Um, Alright, so... What shape's the car in? We've got a few <laughs> issues. So, we need... I know that back window's cracked. Actually, before I even bother... What's the area look like we're going to? We have not a clue. Let's get the touch goes. Let's get the creepy darkness and electricity. So the insulated panels are going to be key. Again. Uh, and that one, just perpetual stability by the look of it. So the, ins uh, the wrong with the headlight? <laughs> Not like it's just damaged. Oh no, it remembers the charges it has. Oh, it did fix it. Right. We'll probably swap some doors here. Okay, condition. Going into some rough territory, so we're gonna need some insulated doors. Figure out which one. 
takes the worst damage. It looks like my side does. Uh, yeah, that took some damage. Wait. Is this an ins- oh, this door- wait. I thought that was the one I was holding. No, I'm holding that one. Um. This insulates us against electricity. We should have been getting the shit shocked out of us lately. Unpleasantly. Um, so we need another... Nasty one today. Close the garage door. Uh, right, so. I don't know. I don't know if I put that thing in the repair thing, if it'll get rid of the crack. those repair they might not I 
plasma. Say that's good enough since yeah that takes plasma. Um Let's see if we can paint this up. I've noticed there's no purple paint. Come on, developers, why is there no purple? This is upsetting me. Get a little groovy. Purple paint, what the heck? I mean, it definitely looks weird now. <laughs> Zoics. Doing, ben. We'll fix that. Damage is too bad. Um. Good. Good enough, I think. Use up a lot of parts, so that's fair. Didn't know those flares took up so much. Okay, uh. Right. We. Car doesn't have any quirks for once. Surprising. Just gotta charge up the battery, and I think. Golden. We've got the extra gas can now, the, uh, the extra gas tank in the back. We've got the spare battery on the side. Um, we've got our repair goods. Far better way to hurl flares into the world than by risking or string an arm embarrassed with poorly aimed throw. <laughs>
So we're going here. So that's gonna have some touch go. That's gonna have the darkness, but we should and electricity, we should be fine. We'll just run through here. We're not even gonna stop in this area. We'll loot what we can here, but yeah, this place is I hate this place. Okay, now we can see, yeah, so the touch and goes, stable anchors, honey pots, wriggling wrecks, I hate those things. Bolt bunnies, hate those too. Sizzling mist. Air strip and spike puddles. Something there we have not identified. There's not much in terms of anchors there. Same there, but like I say, we'll catch it on a pass by, but I am not. That's why, yeah, because electricity takes super damage because it's overcharged. So yeah, that says perpetual stability, so. Absolutely fine. These have low time anyway. So should be good. Cranky side. Uh, this thing isn't going great. Let's take a break from the game. It's a good thing to do. Okay. Let's go. Actually, before I do, let's grab the extra provisions. That that's full. Got, yeah, okay. We're we're good. We're good. My tools, my tools are alright. Alright. Hi you car. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Oh, look at all that extra fuel. Whoosh. All right, so we're going to head this way. That's going to stop me again. I guess that route, because it's so long, you get... Man, there's... Oh, there's... There's nothing here. At all. can. in it.
Don't be a honey pot. Ah, oh, goodness, thank you. Stretch a road. Stability there. Okay, we can hang here a bit. We're just still just driving through. Oh god, the roadways though. on that map doesn't look like it'd be nice to try to just jump the road there either.
will stomp for... Those are nomadic tubes. I do stomp for those. Oh man, I did it! I crawled inside! I've even seen where they lead, where they go! It makes so much sense now. I found it between junction 5A and 6C. Sometimes you pass right through like normal. Other times, you come back where you started, but in the opposite direction. But you never turn around, and there's no loops that could have led you here. And when that happens, sometimes you get a glimpse, a red light in the distance. It's waiting, looking for something it lost a long time ago, reaching out. I'm certain. There's an answer to it all, and I'm staying in here until I find out what it is. I read fast because we're on limited time here. But we want to try to get those stable anchors before time runs out and the roadways around here are dumb. Oh, that is Bike puddle just there in the grass. So keep following this. where they put those Which truck is that? Is that just a fuel truck? Oh no. Hell yeah. Another pry bar. <laughs> marsh eggs. I found marsh eggs? Oh I did. We just want to keep going forward, because like I say, we want to go for the, at least some of those anchors while we've got a chance. So, when we get here... Follow the tracks.
take a lot of damage for that. Thank goodness. There's a tunnel right there. Less of a good idea than I thought it might be. I want to get up. Well, if I want to get to the road, I need some. Okay, there was one back there, and there's one up there, so... What dickens is that? Considering repurposing the early anomaly barricade technology, we've invested incredible amounts of time, money, and resources into this project. While it may not work as intended, we've still developed something that has intriguing potential and application. I'd like to talk to you a little about those today. First, we've brought to my attention that some engineers have reconfigured our prototypes to exhibit, shall we say, various whimsical behaviors. Uh, together, we have created a responsive, reactive system that is context sensitive. Please, these things aren't supposed to be used for racing checkpoints, jack-in-the-box jokes, or visual gags. I don't need to know who has been re-engineering these, but I will need you to stop, understand? Okay, if you take a look at page three of the Brief on Healing. Very concerned what happens if I drive through that. Okay, so one anchor is over there. I can see that one. And there's one back here. Try to shut when I did that. I'm just curious because that means it's a quirk. I didn't grab that stuff if it felt like I had time. close when I did that. That's a good amount of energy. Okay, what are we what are we looking at in terms of there's another one up there.
something entirely cool could happen, but... Uh, Primarily here to get. We'll stop for this. It's right here. We got time. I'm not gonna worry too much. Let's try this thing. Okay, that was the alarm, so... Fuck, we gotta... Wait, did the... Thinker disappear? Oh, it did. Oh no, there it is. I'm gonna go for it. There's a storm heading right for it. down a cliffside. course with a storm right now. door. No. Fuck. Hate those things. Stuff it just gave me. 
Um. Off-road tires are actually keeping me from sliding. Oh gosh! Buck, <laughs> like I'm teaching you. Uh, okay. There's some stable anchors. If we find anything on the way, but I am not gonna hang here too long. I hate this zone. <laughs> this area sucks. Okay, the best route to go. Looks like if we go this route, we'll hit a couple on the way. So it looks like the best thing to do is there's going to be a maintenance road up ahead that we're not going to be able to see. Anything that's in our immediate path will hit, but I'm not. Gonna stick around too long. The darkness here is just insane. Still got one more area to go through. electric things plus abductors is just a bad combination. this place. A 
goodness. I think we want the insulated panels. There's a beam hard up here. I don't want to stick around. Let's just we can hit those anchors on the way, but I want to get out of here. That was a I thought that was a beating heart, but no, that's a so we're just gonna have to I don't like doing this when it's so close, but Joke, right? <laughs> you see, okay. No. Come on!
I hate this place. This place is awful. All right, how are we on things? Things are a bit damaged. Um. Oh, I hate that zone. Okay, next place has perpetual stability, some anchors, it's got stable anchors, honey pots, god damn it, spark tower, sizzling mist, shakers, something I don't know, and tourists, but we got gas stations, plasma generators, wrecked cars, abandoned cars, abandoned squires, box trucks, and art investigators, so there's a lot of good shit here, so we'll, we have time to loot. That's what we're gonna do. I mean, we're in a story zone as well, so it might force us force our hoof a bit, but oh, thank God. Ugh, oh, finally. Finally got here. map okay so just follow the road we'll hit some buildings and that's the wall uh, we'll hit as many of these anchors as we can Petrol stability but the weather is not nice Touch any car, any strange cars. You don't know what diseases you can pick up. For trucks and um, worry about the cars in case they're honey pots. Also, since this is a story zone, we shouldn't be rushed anyway until we come, you know, until the, the story moves ahead. So we'll have time to kind of do our thing. Uh, how are we looking? That tank's full, so we haven't even been using the regular gas tank. It's just been the. The big and oh, big car. All right. Get 
bring you more in here than out there. Chef friend. Mm, food. I should probably put that. Healed up. So I nearly died. In the last area, because it was fucking ridiculous. not want toilet paper out here. I think toilet paper in the zone, but then again, I'm not sure if I'd want to touch my bum with anything that, uh, the zone creates. <laughs> Uppers. Just go outside. Work now. Oh yeah, there was um. Ah, what was that log? Swarms. I know about that. What was it? Oh, the um. Organic material within these soft shells displays a remarkable, even alarming ability to regrow itself when harmed. It could be synthesized with organic or semi-organic compounds. The applications could be remarkable. Ugh. You're getting Daisy vibes. Maybe a little, little taste of Daisy, maybe. I kind of, I kind of liken it to um, sort of like. Stalker meets uh, jalopy. there's honey pots I kind of don't want to touch the cars unless they're unless they're a specific type oh they're not hot the fence no game says no That kind of truck. We can identify those so we know those are safe. Ugh. Lots of stuff. Use the wings to hop over the fence. No, place, d despite the amount of science going on here, it's all science and no magic, so. Unfortunately, they've got me again. I can't fly. Ooh, cleared up. For now. God, it's nice to have a, least a, a calm area after that last zone. <laughs> Ugh, God. This place was hell. Uh, we can't carry that right now. It's just a crude door. Hello? Thought I heard a thump. Okay. 
So there's the wall going into the inner zone. Well, we'll leave that. We'll leave that crude door. The scrapping those down doesn't seem to get me anything. All right, let's consider where we're going. Let's hit up that anchor, because, like I say, I don't think I don't think anything negative is gonna happen since this is a story area. So we'll probably be fine just taking our time. This is a very good game though, I've been enjoying the hell out of it. It's one of those games though, and I heard about it a year ago. It has. Oh dear. Tourists. Uh, it has. more than pleased my expectations. The expansion wall. It separates the outer zone from the mid zone, and more importantly, us from those two idiots. Ah. This will get you one step closer to the deep zone. It's far past its prime, so watch your step. Bollards. Um. Oi, get out of the road. Huh. Have to get you, huh? Pip. Uh, if I did it right, I probably could have done that one. You got friends in the woods, I know you do, but we're. Yeah, I see you. Whoosh. They do drop items, but they uh, f most times get launched off into space. <laughs> I do drop an item I want, but... Not this stuff. The next that gets us to the inner area. So that I think that's like that's like the second wall they built. Because I think what they built three walls, or did they build two? Because the area kept expanding. That's what you want, the thermosap crystals. Which apparently, I think, in the next zone, we can actually get those in abundance, I guess? Not as rare. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen when I grab that. One way to find out, I usually, again, don't park the car so close, but plasma towers too. Whoosh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Uh, look, give me. Give. So, I don't know if that means it's full or if that means it can hold more. Open 
that means it's full, otherwise it wouldn't have a meter. Uh, this should subside. Hopefully. Oh, well, apparently me getting in the car moved us forward. Get off of that! Ugh, sorry, car. Okay, what are we looking at? So the next one is up there. I saw it down on the beach. Other than that, there's really nothing else down here to grab. There's a building down there. But other than that... game hopping. And sometimes it's hard to tell what's potentially just the game being quirky or it's the car quirk. Okay. Good lord, that's a lot of you. I'm gonna go this way. Got off-road tires. don't have in the trees tires though. Bonk. I should have stayed on the road, but because there's these assholes, they're still I see you out there. Do not follow me. Sure, how we get down there. That actually. The thing of it is, we're driving through into the next zone, so we're not even going back to the garage after this. Um. Hmm. There's another ink. Wait. Oh, I see. So there's one at the top of the hill, and then there's one down on the beach. It looks like down there is how I get through. Grab it then. Saw one tourist in the woods. Probably more. I mean, I might be a waste of my time grabbing all that. I think. We're full. Might not be able to hold anymore, so I'm just wasting the time. Alright, so we need to go back here, and then I just go down into. 
beach, I guess. Go down, go down to the water. My patented 40 point turn. go away after a little while. We are actually going to drive this through. Oh, okay. There's another tower over there. Oh, hi. Are you down here for a... For a swim? Good day for it. Thank you. Saw a... Oh, there's another car over there. I'm not gonna touch that. Says abandoned car, but I'm worried it's a honeypot. If you don't know, a honeypot is basically, if I go up to it, it's kind of a trap. A bunch of anomalies happen. I thought this was a truck. It's a building. Right over. Oh, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab that. I I think we're full on it. I think we are full on 
Energy, I think there is a limit how much we can hold, but you know what? It's right over there. Might as well, right? Watch, this breaks everything. <laughs> Happens. Let's see, stay. Yep, where'd it go? can get more. It says eight. Okay, so there... It's, it's not... There's, there's not a maximum, at least not yet. Because we have eight, so... Oh my god. Excellent. that truck, grab that, and then I guess into there. Full steering wheel. No, still door mutt. Might yield something. Badly damaged is the car. Mm, that's not great. I'm gonna fix it. I was kind of holding out. I thought maybe we'll encounter a part or something, but yeah, it's... we don't know what we're walking into now. up on the wall.
we're locked in place. Geometry liked what I was doing. <laughs> Funky collision going on here. I mean, it's got a marked building up here, so surely it's... Wants me to be up here? Meeting minutes, November 18th, 1949. Agenda, how best to classify and store SRR equipment and journals? Suitable social clubs for meetings that will not exclude Dr. Ophelia Turner? Arising concerns, the SSR, uh, SRR lacks formal structure. Country clubs, academies, golf venues, etc. Off limits to Dr. Ophelia Turner. Action items. Dr. Philly Turner shall be responsible for storing and maintaining SRR equipment. Dr. Reginald Stanley Robinson shall be responsible for minute taking and record keeping. AOB. Local cider tasting, courtesy of Dr. Henry F. W. Mulligan. Cider I just gotten in that side. Yeah, okay. You're shining lights up here, like, hey. Things exist. Oh, fuck me.
the wall. Glad I left the bed lights on in my car. Hi. See you there. What am I doing? Is this just... Oh my god, where am I going? Oh! So we act oh, we drive up there. I guess I wasn't really meant to go up that way. sealed down. I think they can move. Perfect. towards it. There they are. Where did that go off? Okay, so these guys do move? They look like they're sealed down, but...
Okay. Well, thanks. So thanks, game. You released my mouse again. Do not do that. Personal delivery. I saw that. I saw that second triple. Thing I went in for the extra battery. Criminy. Really? I hit him right, I'll hit the whole damn family. Oh no! Spooky. I'm going to 
great way anymore. side. They know how to get you with the tourists. Oh, it's just a compass marker. It's like, what's that building in the water down there? through What's that? I forgot this game even had daylight <laughs> don't you think? Right, ask me if I care. Yeah, the mid-zone's been marinating in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. <clears throat> first things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Avi's equipment won't be much help. Hooking you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Oh, yeah, we can drive around. We don't have to keep driving this distance the further we go. <laughs> well, that looks like something. Let's Is there anything? It's nothing.
tried to follow me, didn't you? You pr Perhaps not. No, no. That's too damn close to the car. Get away from my car, you prick. No, I said... <laughs> Partial memo, source unknown. I'd estimate it's been some 10 to 12 months now, maybe more. I'd hope the passage of the seasons would serve as at least some broad frame of reference. That doesn't seem to happen here anymore. The climate is largely constant, while the weather is subject to these sudden swings that are impossible to predict. Storms appear out of nowhere, rain is sometimes spontaneous, the skies clear quite suddenly, though never enough that I can get a good look at the stars. However, my compass still seems to be working, at least most of the time. The moon, however? That's something else. I can usually still make it out, but something is different. Something is changing. I can't tell if it's some local atmospheric change here or... But to suggest anything beyond that is ridiculous. Why would the moon have changed? And on the subject of strange orbs, those static glowing spheres have been changing color again. But now a curious shade of orange or burnt sienna. Sienna. Uh, this seems to be their most static color yet, and I wonder if this signals some state of maturity. We'll see. They seem to be somehow guarding those strange nests of giant frog spawn. No, I wouldn't say guarding, because that implies intelligence, but they're often nearby. I found a new cache of food last night, and I have nothing but time, so I shall contemplate these orbs. Hit. Set you off. Looks like we need to go up around. Well, I mean, more flares. That's surprising. That's shocking. Well, it looks like I need to go up and around this wall. Because it looks like to perform any other action is going to result in a bad time. Cliff. 
a lot of resources, but we're also full on resources as well. Bubblegum buddy. Uh, let me get in the car where I feel a bit safer. Telephone script. Central Exchange, monitoring August 12th, 1964. Hi there, Dr. Cook. This is Tobias Barlow for maintenance. I think I know why your field equipment is missing, and uh, I'm not gonna like this. So me and a bunch of folks are doing requisition and inventory. I've been losing gear too, but also finding it again later in different areas of the zone. Uh, we thought we lost some to high winds, but then, uh, then some to you know scrambling. But the weather has been pretty normal, and we realized the zone hadn't had a tantrum in a while. We did kind of stake out. We did kind of stake out with some old gear as a test site and you won't believe it. Those things are like gooey fireflies or will-o'-wisps or something. They come out of the trees and kind of band together and grab stuff like magpies. You know, then pass around like a football team. Anyway, I know you scientists uh, want to know about this stuff, so I figured I'd take notes. There was uh, quite a lot. I did some sketches, took some numbers, and I repeated things, like in an experiment. I figured you might... Don't need that music. Drop this stuff by, the mad tubes are malfunctioning again. Did you just... That's what you mean, they're like... The car was on this... No, 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 no. No, let go. You just pop something off the car, did you? Okay, so the lake. Check, what did they do? Damage by the look of it. That battery's dead. Um. Move for you assholes.
we got a lot of new discoveries to make. Cough box. Cough box, telephone script, central exchange. Um, it's difficult, you know? I mean, what do you guys tell a guy's mom? Do you say, sorry, Miss Baker, your son's just a glob of goo now? Do you say, it wasn't entirely meaningless death, though scientists probably got some data from it. Do you say, I saw him dissolved right in front of my eyes, but a lot of his clothing is still okay. Here's his superhero shorts. He just ran straight into the thing. It was so pointless. Feel bad for her. They're asking why it won't be an open casket. For Christ's sake, you could pour him into a jar. You might as well pump him into a coffin. Sad? No, I saw way worse things in the war. And they happened to people I cared a lot about a lot more. This guy? This guy was a jerk. Uh, so you want to see that new Poitier movie? That guy's slick. Yeah, that guy got turned into a slick. Uh, do we want to try to go up and get that energy? Might as well, because this is unstable, and this is probably one of the easiest moments we're going to have to get at this kind of stuff. the easiest time we're gonna have here. It's a story zone, so... heal because I do not know what we're getting into. One good thing about someone you don't like being liquefied, you can flush your troubles down the drain. <laughs> yeah, until the drain gets plugged.
wild. Literally. Let's see. Mm, hang on. There's a road back there? Damn it. Sake. It'll it'll recede. There's a radiation here. Yeah, it's gonna refill the car, but. There it goes. Yeah, it's receding. Allegedly, there's a road here somewhere. Car. Uh, are we looking at? Uh, well, we got a minute. We're going to... Nice. Mm -hmm. 
this place is eepy creepy. Um. Lootable. Okay, a stabilizer in section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Hey, Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There, your receiver's hooked in now. And we're patched into all that sweet arc device data. <laughs> nice work. Avi won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, better get going. Here it comes. Sorry, car. Don't worry. Keep cool. This is our first rodeo. Teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? Eh, hey, don't worry. I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get back to this remnant business. I'm guessing it's in that locked room. Identified the electrical circuit for the garage's security system. Mm -hmm. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this. Thanks. Yeah, okay. Bingo! That security lock's powered on now. You try that overload code from the observation towers 4735. <laughs> Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand, and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppy was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop, and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. It's bathroom. Why? Why? 
gives her bathroom locked. Years of limb research and development stolen from Arda by Avi herself. What's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Hey, don't put me in the middle of this. Hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? We know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Drive, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Chapter. So what do we got? Mark Duck. version of the ARC device is able to administer rudimentary pain relief first aid to the occupant of the driver's seat. However, the energy required will put a substantial drain on the battery. We still remain unsure if this device is a work of genius, is extremely illegal, stolen technology, or some combination of both. So if I install that, I'll chance this thing. What about? How many times do I have to tell you, don't drink the water? Tell me what to do. that off to the side for now, I guess, because uh, it's a substantial drain on the battery. Alright. And again, zero kilowatts activate. Oh, it's an ability, I see. So... It's not something I used to do.
should be able to... Uh, I hit... Tab. Okay. Mobility in the car. So we did get a little bit of unstable energy. So that will unlock some research for us. But it's more than I came back with. I should have gone for more, but I was thinking yeah, that map would have had two story points instead of one. But honestly, I was it out. Ugh, so where do we go from here? Wow. Are you kidding me? So we do have to drive to these locations. But yeah, we gotta make our new route. But there's some new routes beyond the wall now. I think that might be a good spot, to be entirely honest with you. I think another mission is going to take too long. So, we've done it. We've crossed into the central section. So yeah, they did build three walls. As they expanded the outer walls of how we got in. So yeah, we'll be we'll be rooting around in that section and unlocking new technologies to to try to keep pushing forward. That's a good spot. We've unlocked more story. Ooh. Seems good. I'm enjoying it. I really like this game. Uh, ah, God, it's a swamp. No, th God, that would the, the going through the wall was stressful. It's like going through that dark zone where it's just dark is super stress. Going through the wall was stress, and then now the swamp is just gonna bring a whole new batch of stress. So, but we'll learn what it's like. So, hopefully this stream turned out well. Because for anyone that doesn't know, I am doing a two PC stream setup. So hopefully it has come out with a positive. We're just kind of, we're testing it out this week. Uh, the point is to try to take some load off my main PC in order to, uh, you know, make it a little bit easier to, to play games and whatnot. Work smoothly from your viewpoint. <laughs> the snowball and the hydrates. Um, yeah, we're just we're testing out this week. It's the only downside I've got so far is that I can't split the music, so I can't listen to any music that you know I don't want to go on the VOD. I'm gonna see if I can't come up with a solution to that. But uh, otherwise, this seems to have worked well. But yeah, this is something I've been wanting to test out because games are getting a lot more intense these days. And um, with my new model uh, coming out soon, that's going to take some extra resources. So, you know, trying to offload a little bit off my own PC is kind of the goal here. Uh, so, yeah, this week we're just testing out. It may not always be permanently a thing, but it's definitely something just, you know, in case a game is too intense or something like that, that it might be we just, you know, we, we have another option to work with. Because I know when we played both Arc Ascended and Alan Wake 2, it was, um, it was a lot. <laughs> it was definitely causing issues, so. so we'll hopefully open up a new avenue of things for us to do. Um, 
but yeah, we'll be test. We're, we're just testing that out this week. So, like I say, if you guys, you know, see anything that looks weird, if anything sounds weird, if something seems off, please let me know because this is something I can't really uh, check live because I'm I'm VNCing into the other computer, and the quality is mostly good, but it uh, isn't a hundred percent on on what I can see. So, um, so yeah. Say we're testing it. We're testing it out this week. Oh, stretch. Ugh. I mean, do you sound weird? You just keep hearing nay, nay. Weird. <laughs> I speak. You always hear that though. It's all you ever hear. Who should we raid today? Who should be our raid target? Oh, goodness me. I, that, oh God, that last bit, that last bit was stressful. <laughs> oh, it's so fun, though. This game is great. Um, Whitney, who is, if anyone's got a suggestion, I'll take one. Surprisingly, not a lot of people on tonight, on my view. Um, let's see. It's Rex's birthday. That sounds like a good target. We'll hit them up. What are they up to? What are they up to at the moment? They're doing art. They 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 do a lot of awesome art. They're really cool. Uh, do, 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 do. they just didn't show up on my list. Um, Twitch is weird like that. Let's see. Let's go here. Digital Ember might be where it's barred. I'll look into them another time. But thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll pop over there. Okie dokie, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. This game, I love it. It's getting stressful, though. <laughs> And yeah, like like I say, I hope this test works out. We're testing it all week. It may become a permanent solution uh, going forward in terms of streaming. Um, yeah, just to kind of uh, get things, get get some get, get make things better. You know, more better, better quality. <laughs> I really like that uh, streamer's voice helps too. Uh, but don't tell you that we said that. Uh, be back tomorrow. I think we're doing. I think we're doing Entrada tomorrow. Um, yeah, and then more. Actually, let me check something real quick. Uh, okay. Maybe there'll be something different on Thursday. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I don't know yet. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, have yourselves a great night. Say hi to Tech Rec and uh, have yourself a wonderful night. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. I gotta hit the right button this time. It's a different one to shut it off. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Isn't it a